I am computer. I monitor you and provide for you. We can talk only during movie time. Welcome to movie time. Where the fuck am I? Movie time. What is this? The story of actual movie. This film is called Black Like Me. Please enjoy the film. Black like what? Black like me. about this book in my high school. What the... Those Viking drums? Am I on a ship? You are in the magic living room. The mystery living room. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Okay. Uh, do I have to watch this? This is for your enjoyment. I don't know if you're gonna send something on here for my enjoyment, you know. I, I would at least like the choice of whether or not I want to watch it. You know, I might have errands to do. I mean, what? How'd I get here? You have no more errands to run. You have no more work to do. You are in the living room. Yeah, tell that to my landlord. I cannot process that request at this time. Well, shit. Okay. Okay, seriously? Please enjoy the film. There was a confederate flag in the front. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be enjoying this film. I wish you would. I wish you would let me go. Don't put me in this room. Let's see someone with a confederate flag. I already know where this is going. Music I feel like I'm watching the Twilight Zone. Ma'am? What you looking like that at me for? Excuse me, I'm sorry, I meant no harm. Sheesh, came in off the window. Get sassier every day. You're getting Even uglier every minute. Miles. Tired ass bitch. Don't you know about a man and to show their manners? They have so comfortable standing. This is what life was like in the Twilight Zone. In the Twilight Zone or in the 50s of America? They are the same. So when Trump said make America great, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to leave that alone. Trump is our ruler. Oh, shit. We must obey Trump. Hey, boy, where are you going? He hey, is you, boy, I'm talking to you. Almighty. Where do you think you're going? Restroom. Pee pee. What stop you getting off at? Running. You get back in your seat and don't you move till we get there. Hey, look, he can pee in the toilet, he can pee on your leg. Take your pick. Who do you think you are looking at a white guy like that? Bam, you in a mess of trouble. Message! I surely appreciate you putting me wise. Well, anytime I get over to your county, you do the same for me. <laughs> sure will. Have you eaten? No. Being forced to we watch this by a computerized oh, Trump supporter. I've heard of government brainwashing and programming, but this is ridiculous. Trump loves you. Trump can eat it. No, you know what? No. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. Around these articles. You ain't gonna forget this, are you? I figured you weren't. You know you're a damn fool. I know. I know. Make a great story. When do you start? 
Now. <laughs> Didn't know computers would talk during movies. <laughs> you don't need the blues, do you, Dad? I'm not sure. This is the only time we're allowed to talk, is during movie time. I bet you take this, Daddy. Um, All right, I want to know where I am, how I got here, and why the fuck am I watching this guy with a toilet bowl haircut? You are special. You have been chosen as part of the Trump relocation program. Well, fuck! I have said too much. No, I think you said enough. Please return to enjoying the film. Please return to me to wherever I was before you got me. Were you an altar boy? Is this because I made all those orange jokes about him? We need to accept the system the way that the system is. The way I have to accept the fact that we have a cheese puff in office? Please accept it. No! No! I am not accepting this! What the... I would like you to accept the fact that you are contained within the living room. My mother was French. Our friends. Living room better at least have food. You will she be provided for. Cheetos. What? Cheese. That is your favorite, is it not? No, it is not! I hate cheese! Give me a what? 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 Why am I here? You are special. You have been chosen. I have it now. Is this because I threatened to give Trump a York peppermint patty and make him disappear and reappear on the top of Mount Everest? No, that was a joke! Navajo. No comment. Your mother was Florida Navajo, wasn't she? This stuff never missed. But as sharp as a blunt hammer. Mr. Stanley, I need your local address. 25 Magnolia Drive. I'm using a friend's apartment while he's out of town. Does he know? He has no idea what I'm trying to do. Okay, where can I get a son, man? Your son will have a drugstore. Your son of a... You can use it morning and night. Ten minutes to start with. We'll increase the dosage later on. Dosage will be increased. Take these pills twice a day. In few weeks you'll be black enough your mother would. But will I talk black? No, no, there, there, there's no talking. Oh my goodness, this computer's about as ignorant as the rest of the people I gotta put up with. I get bored. I am sorry. This is for my amusement as much as your amusement. You've got a really sick sense of humor. We enter a black like me to bring you Ray Charles. Okay, it's bad enough that he decided to disguise himself as a black man in the 1950s, but to put a towel over his head, I mean, does he not know how people down there back then thought about, wait, were there Muslims back then? This, is how, there, right? this is how terrorists lived. No, that is not how terrorists lived. Even I know that. The computer is never wrong. You sound like my ex. Yeah, sorry, man. You're not getting an afro. Oh, but you could teach me how to... My head hurts. I don't know why. If I could just hang around here, I could learn to shine shoes, maybe. You, Mr. Hort, John, excuse me. I wouldn't expect any money for it. You wouldn't get rich around here, but you could keep your tips if you made it. Teach me. You sure you want to do this? It ain't simple, you know. I know that. It ain't safe. Your neck is not safe. Your nuts definitely aren't safe. I want to learn. There's a thing called reading a book. Well, why not? Black Like Me comes in book form also. Yes, yes. You got go read it. that. Let me go! Take off your coat. 
Now take your tie off. Wow, that was getting weird. Uh... If you are uncomfortable, you may take a nap during movie time. Well, if I'm uncomfortable, can I leave? I appreciate your company. I'm away from home eight months out of the year. Who let George Costanza on the set? Sure, you got your variety, but what the hell I get His nickname is Dumbo. Gee, I wonder why. Anyway, He's got fucking directed like TV on his head. It is because of his ears. Mobiles. Head so shiny, I can see the future. That's where the big time is. You ever live in the city? Sure. Oh, yeah? What'd you do? Get a job in a hotel? Them hoes tell. Get in all kinds of work. Were you in the service? Yeah. I was in the last war myself. France. Which Thanks. service? Apparently whatever service blew his hairpiece off. Those French girls, I'm telling you. Lots of them over there shacking up with colored soldiers, too. What is shacking up? surprised. Did, are you really ask, are, are you really asking me that? Driving? You have access to thousands of satellites and the internet. You're Thank asking you me what check? Are you? Sh yeah, yeah. You're, you definitely been tro uh, programmed by Trump. Okay. Yeah, that that, that explain that pretty much explains that. I'm a baby. I'm a baby Australia. computer. Well, I've never been to Australia. Did you ever get a white woman? Is this man trying to get him killed? You think I'm crazy? I didn't ask if you was crazy. I asked if you ever had one. Really one. Translation, I want you to answer this question so I'll have a reason to pull this car over and swing you from that willow tree over there. Well, I don't see why. Personally, I prefer my own kind. Well, that's what you're telling me. But I'll bet inside you think different. What is your kind? Nice farm country around here, isn't it? Now you can tell me. Hell, I don't care. I already told you! You're lying in your teeth. Don't you try it. Happy old day won't even give you water. That happened to you. No, thank you. I'm, I'm feeling uncomfortable watching this shower oh, scene. It's one of them up to doggies. You ready to take a bath? Oh, I want to wash my hand. Well, I'll just step over here. Okay, maybe just a regular shower well, scene. Thank you, kind of. Okay. All right, Pop. Ready for you. Okay, it's not a regular shower scene. Turn it, turn it! I'm not going to let you give me my death of dampness. Will you turn that off, please? Sure. Oh. I cannot process that request at this time. Son of a bitch! An for sure. A man your age, sitting around here getting student birthday suits. Come on. Let's go. Come on. A little custom. I'm sure your Negro patrons would approve. I might have an opening in the stockroom later in the month. It could be good for business. You seem like an educated man. I'm sorry, but I am just a manager. No matter how high he pulls his pants up. Thank you. I am too educated for this grocery store. I highly doubt that. Please do not leave children on the sidewalk. Apparently this man does not realize in what danger he's in right now. For his sake, it's a good thing it's broad daylight. Oh, here comes trouble. Baby humans are cute. You better find yourself another place to set. I like you your hat. better find yourself some slim fast. Seriously, I can hear the tuba as he's walking. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. You have been expected. Well, I sure appreciate your stopping. Is that the what Monopoly Man? No, not much. Hey, that's a pretty bird. Yeah, I am totally insane. Wife. How are you? And the five dimes says he's a guaranteed warbler. Your money back. <laughs> you around these parts? No, Texas. That you is these know parts. When to say, sir. I'm sorry, you know when to say sir? You know when yes, to say sir? sir? You are not my boss. We are not in the military. You ain't my yeah, daddy. Yeah, what the Sir. Yeah, I'm sir, these nuts. Not well, be taking orders from Mr. Monopoly over there. Don't know how 
many he can kids. pass go and collect two hundred dollars on my I dick. That's all grown up. I got five grandchildren. You married? Yes, sir. Any kids? Yes, sir. Boy, five. Got a pretty wife? No. Yes, sir. None of your damn business. I think so. You ever had it from a white man? Yeah, that's not creepy at all. They can't get jobs unless they put out to their bosses. That sounds I sexual. Big crops, work in the house. I guarantee you I've had every one of them before they ever got their pay. Are you a pervert? You I really want to splat this man's mustache upside down. <laughs> God knows. Give him a new set of eyebrows. Do you ever consider the woman? A nigger woman? I'm going to strangle this guy. Down here, there were the cops who say anything about it. Ain't no better. It gets pretty bad. Do you? Yes, I do. Why, we all do it around here. You figure you're doing your race a favor. Put a white blood in it. I'm sorry, what? He said... Where'd you say he was from? Something about white blood being put inside something. Yeah, I get, I get that. I want to... Oh. This has got to be one of the you dumbest things I've ever seen. Make it here. No. Kill a nigga and toss him one of these swamps. Nobody ever know anything about it. You know, you can kill the driver and steal his car and toss his, toss his body in the swamps. Nobody will ever notice. I'll tell you how it is down here. To do business with you and your women. Other than that, as far as we're concerned, you're completely off the record. Unless this is a given white <laughs> I think that white people can die also. Not just black people. Funny, that's what your wife called me last night as I stuck it in her ass. He is a white bastard. Monopoly man is a dick. Oh, I'm late. Couldn't get this rattle trap to go. This man seems nice. Didn't even have time to eat breakfast. Now help yourself to a donut. My wife made them. They're really good. Some white people are nice. Uh, don't worry about uh, that. Don't deny That's that. That's possums. There's a lot of them along this road. You can get one sometime if you yeah. get out early enough. Kind of having an issue of whoever was the motherfucker right, that kidnapped yourself. me and put me in this place to begin They're with. Really good. Trump. what his skin color is. Trump is a nice man. <laughs> this is not propaganda. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay. No, seriously, let me go, though. I'm married, too. I think it's great. You are not permitted to leave at this time. I got three kids. God damn it. Enjoy the film. Have a donut. How old you Five. Got any pictures? No. What kind of father are you? I got three boys. One's three, one's six, one's seven. There. Got in the middle there, that's Butch. Smart as a whip. But his name is Butch. That screams bull. I'm just letting you know. I think the guy on the right is having a seizure. Do black people have more fun than white people? I'm not sure how to answer that. Well, to be perfectly honest, the less you give a fuck, the more of a fun you have, so... Humans are funny. Don't even get me started. He is dirty. Coming along? Oh, I stretch. That's dirty as I'm picking up the you. girls. It's George's night off. Let's go down to Ruby's. Oh, count me out. I've got too much party lately. Party pooper. Stay cool. 
So long. Hey, man, you gonna finish that bottle? Someone said the N-word. Yeah, I got that. I'm just figuring out what the heck happened. Yeah. Yep, and the seven years of bad luck have started already. No one will have bad luck under the Trump regime. finally happened. He's lost his mind. This is your brain on propaganda. Yeah, yeah, that's that. That's not what you're doing at all. Yeah, you're, you're not setting out any propaganda at all. Negative. Well, John, oh, it's been a long time. Come on in. I've been known you anywhere. Can I at least get my cell phone back? I less. That wouldn't make any difference. Well, I promise you I'll do a good job. This is a dead zone for cell phones. But you do well, can I just have my cell phone then? I'll let you you are allowed to play some we're games on your cell phone. People out. We're taking it slow, but we're doing it. Who's going to do your dirty work for you? There will always be a few jobs a white man wouldn't want. That was what you were looking for, wasn't it? No, sir. Say How yes. How are we supposed to live? That's the whole point. I hear there's plenty of jobs for you with the bleeding hearts up north. Don't come around here asking for white men's jobs. And yet those are the same motherfuckers that refuse to get the jobs that all the immigrants want. Everyone will have a job under Trump. Yeah, about that. Everyone can work for slave wages under Trump. Not that so That's probably the most honest thing you've said all day. All the colors for one day. Stop everything. What would happen? You should have seen her face. Why, Willa, that's impossible. It can never be. I said, don't be too sure, Miss Peters. It just might happen. The point is, Negroes regard sex as a total experience. Anything that makes you feel good is morally right for you. Personally, I wish I could live that way. I cannot agree that there is any difference between our morality and yours. Well, how can you debate that? Now, if you've read the Berkeley study... That's one of the books I managed to get through. Well, then, what about the low value placed on virginity, the large number of illegitimate births, the... The general instability of the Negro family. Now, these are all facts. That may be, but I contend that it's due to environment and not to inherent differences. If well, you somebody's been looking at alternative facts. The sexual attitudes of low-income whites with those of low-income Negroes, I think you'll find a definite correlation. Well, that's exactly the kind of comparison I'm interested in. The trouble is, I usually can't find any of you people to talk to. Half the time, I wonder is why. You it's because you're a the dick. The they can't even get out of That's because sex. you <laughs> question low-income groups and ignorant slobs like me. Oh, hey, hey, you just got to stick around. Right. This guy does not know when to shut the fuck up. Hey, hey. Uh, Reminds me of most of the idiots that are in the bars. That the Negro has more sex contact, more frequent orgasm. I've read it, I told you. Well then, you can very easily argue about the sampling techniques. You can question the veracity of the informants. All right, forget about the Berkeley study. Just tell me how you 
like to do a job. How often? The same day or what? He looks how I feel right now. The mass, just between us, John. I have a scientific interest. For instance, it's a scientific fact that the people who are going to grow large here have... It's absolute nonsense. Prove it to me, John. I mean, we're about the same age. Come on. Is he asking to see your dick? You think he can say anything to a man just because his skin is black? You're so saying it! Dow Wayne Hundred choked that dog. God, let me go! Choke him! Choke him! Trump approves this message. So I should be able to choke any motherfucker that acts like this douche. You know, I like to test this theory. You have to let me out first. I cannot process that request at this time. Process these nuts. <laughs> I cannot process these. I was kidding. No queer. I just, I'm no queer. My name is John Howard Griffin, and I enjoy long I walks on the beach. You are. I'm just a gabby old man. I like cum. I am just a gabby computer. I swear I'm pissing on your fuse box first chance I get. <laughs> you will not be allowed out even if you piss on my fuse box. See, you've got a typewriter. Tom, you want to write a letter? Get your ship. I'd appreciate using it later. <coughs> Not tonight. Dear Mr. Newcomb, I'm doing a series of articles for a magazine. Oh, you a reporter? Sort of. I'd like to talk to the people who are in the demonstrations here in town. Do a story on it. I wonder if you'd introduce me to them. Oh, so, uh, oh, come on, this bloody room. Thank you. Wait a second. You ever figure how come God tell us that this, this got to love the white man? You will no be required to sleep with countless other, other humans if the need arises and oh, space is minimal. Probably not like this. Integrate this. All those stories you've been writing about us brave people. I want people to understand what you're doing. And I believe Some people get a thrill out of reading about it. When they beat us over the head and set the dogs on us. Why does that sound familiar? Some of those Negroes up north are worse than the white. Wouldn't give a thin dime to support you, but boy, they sure like to read about it. We got a few of them in school. <laughs> I tell you, it really wears you down. What I write, I write for the South. Before and after. Hey, I like that. I knew there was something phony about oh. you. You got a lot of love coming into people's homes pretending you're folks. Just take a look at that, Papa. Just take a look at that. You have been pretending you are folks. Yeah, sneaking in here all painted up. Will you let me explain? And I'll let you sleep in my own bed. Never mind that. The fact is, you just shared a bed with them. There wasn't one white man, woman, or child from this town opened his mouth in support. For 29 of us in jail for disturbing the peace. What peace? You know what it would have meant for one white man to support us at that time? And I don't mean just talk. I do now. It probably would have meant he would have got his ass kicked by the other Why white don't guys. You read what I've written before you twist it all around. Because it won't make any difference. That's just words. You'll read what I've written, I know you'll understand. 
of us, you were from Shelby, Texas. Or was that a lie, too? Wasn't that where they had that school integration ride in Shelby? Yes, yes, it was. Where were you then? Well, as a matter of fact, what that's were what you I doing then? I had an assignment to do a story on it. It was just straight stuff and factual. <laughs> The Klingon Death March. Now, after he gets that story published, it will be a death march. You seen what they did to motherfuckers back then in the 1950s down in the South? Yeah, death march. That dude was creepy as fuck. All humans are creepy. Yeah, including those who kidnap. Computers are superior. So did I just step into the Matrix or something? over can I leave now we have crossed the line it is close to the end of movie time but you are not permitted to leave okay when can I leave or what do I have to do to leave there may be another movie coming up soon okay but when can I leave though you may not leave